Hi, Juliet. So we're going to be working on a vocabulary activity today following the act one, scene one of the Hamlet play that we read. So okay. let me share my screen with you. I did give you a copy of the link for you to work on. Mm -hmm. All right. And I saw that you added your work to my page there. Thank you so much. Okay, in this activity, we are going to take apart some vocabulary words that are from Hamlet, and we're going to create a little flashcard for ourselves, okay? Mm -hmm. We already read the play. It was so much fun, right? I love that play. Uh -huh. Here's some vocabulary words for us. Um, what our job is to do is to take two words, look at their roots and affixes, and then create a synonym and antonym for their meaning. We'll then write a sentence using the word and draw a picture or find a picture, in your case, to match the meaning. If you need some help, you can always go to this website right here for edamineonline.com, okay? The two words for this activity that we picked are invulnerable and duplicity. Invulnerable is an adjective, and it means not able to be damaged. Now, I don't know about you, but when I think about invulnerable in Hamlet, I'm thinking about that castle where the moat, where they couldn't get to them. And of mm -hmm. course, yep, right? And that's the picture that I picked with the moat surrounding the castle there. It's they're invulnerable unless the people have scuba gear, right? They're not going to be able to go into that moat. So the prefix is in, invulnerable, which means not. And the Latin word for the root is vulnere, which means wound, maim, or hurt. The synonym for invulnerable is immune or the same thing. And the antonym is unprotected. And of course, my sentence is I chose. The castle was invulnerable due to the extremely deep moat. By layman's terms, that means that they couldn't get to the castle to attack it because they couldn't swim in the really deep moat. All right. Mm -hmm. Yep. Uh, the visual image that you get, of course, is a castle surrounded by really deep water. Mr. Poe is really good at creating invulnerable uh, fortresses, and so is Mr. Shakespeare. The second word that we chose was the word duplicity. And the picture that I picked for this one was of Harvey Dent from Batman, uh, because he is the epitome or the example of Two-Face. He actually has two parts of his body, if you follow the Batman story. The word duplicity is a noun. It is the meaning of the quality or state of being double, usually two-faced or deceptive. That shade of meaning of deception is in that duplicity or that duh or that kind of that hard D sound. The Latin word for duplic or twofold, and the affix or the suffix is iti, which is the quality of the state. So when you put the words together, it means the state or quality of being double or deceptive. Um, the character of Harvey Dent, aka Two-Face, is the epitome of duplicity because he often double crosses Batman. Uh, that's a nice little alliteration there for you, right? And of course, synonym deception, antonym honesty. Mr. Two-Face is definitely not an honest person. So that's how you do this activity. So I'm excited to see what you came up with. Of course, now your job is to choose one word from the list, complete the following, look at the roots and affixes, prefixes and suffixes, create a synonym, antonym for their meaning, write a sentence, draw or find a picture to match. And what did you come up with? Could you tell me about your word? My word is filial. And it means having a mother-daughter relation. Okay. What is the root? The root is filly. And the suffix is O. And my sentence was, her daughter is her filial relation. That's a great sentence. Can you tell me what the suffix owl means? Um, Is it state condition act? Yeah, it's a state or condition or like something. So when you put that together, what's your sentence saying? She is like her mother. She's like her mother or she has a relationship like her yeah. mother or daughter relationship. Very good. And I like your picture there. Why'd you pick that picture? Because it shows them having a mother-daughter relationship. It does. So that mental image that you get is that connection with parents for a filial relationship. It can be either male yeah. or female. Very good. Thank you very much, my filial offspring child student. I appreciate Thanks. you taking the time to hang out with me. Thanks so much. Bye. Yep. Bye.